there are five very, very common native oaks here. All right? I mean, they probably, it probably makes up 90% of the possible oaks in the woods. Okay? They are, one, white oak, which you know, two, chestnut oak, which is this, and you will know it, and both of those are white oaks. So you maybe could put a bracket here, they're white oaks. Of course the white oak is, right? <laughs> <laughs> then, three, black oak, which you're going to learn today, four, northern red oak, which you're going to learn next week. and then five, scarlet oak, the last three are red oaks. So two are white oaks and three are red oaks. No, there's going to be some others. So this is one of these common trees, chestnut oak. So oh. let's take a look at the buds right here. They are probably, they're clustered, right? Again, see how they're bigger? Now we're even bigger again. They're probably the tallest, pointiest buds. These are going to stretch a little more. The picture on your fact sheets are even taller and leaner. They look like ice cream cones, don't they? The upside down cone part. And these are not quite done stretching out. But there will be a very, very tall, pointy, fairly lightly colored bud. It's almost an orangey brown. You can see that in there. Orangey brown color. Now leaves, these leaves, Yeah, but i got to give you a little warning. We're going to look at a real one later. This could be of a, a certain variety because it's planted. They're, they're not supposed to be this deep. They basically have, if you look on here, if you have sheets, they basically almost just have a wavy margin. These are a little too deep for normal. The acorns are dropping out. Perfect. They often just literally fall right out of the cap. But let me show you. Well, that, that was a big acorn. Is this not matching anything? <laughs> Are they supposed to fall with the capper? They often drop out of them. Yeah, they will. And, and they, both things happen. But this, well, yeah, let me have that. Hold on. So that's a, yeah. Here's what I want to show you about the cap. The edge of the cap tapers to a very, very, very thin, almost sharp edge. You're going to see other acorns, caps, that come down and are very thick. They come out and they bulge around. This thing, picture this cap made out of modeling clay, and then you just smooth it to nothing. That's what they do. So when we pass this around, look at how thin the edge is. That's what I want you to see. And you can see it on that one without popping out. We've emphasized with all the oaks, make sure you know the caps, because wildlife don't eat the caps, right? And you'll find the caps on the ground and not, not these. Now, what's going on here? You might think, well, man, who's going to miss that? A couple things. One, this is what the brown part was what was up in the cap. And then what it's, it's going to turn all brown. But this time of year that you get some very, they actually get pointed kind of pretty yellow, greens, and, and browns. It's kind of a neat, neat looking thing there. Uh, and they are a big acorn. Uh, and it's in the white oak group. So this is a great wildlife plant food right here. Okay, for that. That's called a hard mast. Have you heard that word before in wildlife or other classes? Mast, M-A-S-T. There's hard mast and soft mast. That's wildlife food. Hard mast is an acorn, a hickory nut. Soft mast would be a strawberry, a raspberry. They, they don't find them in the leaf litter in the winter. you got to eat them. That's soft mast. This is hard mast. So literally they just said, that oak that looks like a chestnut. Chestnut oak. <laughs> That's where it came from. So uh, we did the buds and the acorn and all that, and I wanted to show you. They've come big, but I wanted to show you the bark. I was telling you, it's a crazy, thick, ridged, almost looks like mountaintop peaks. You come up and feel this thing, it's hard as a rock.